drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. Um, so yeah, right now I think we're about like 600 away or something like that. So I still feel like we can do it. So do your part, drop a subscribe if you could. Today, it's kind of a big day because I got my intramural basketball championship game. Last year, we lost in the championship game in the spring and we won it in the fall. So it's a pretty big, big game. I'm like 60 and one in my intramural basketball career. So it's always fun hooping. Um, if you didn't know, I used to play college basketball. Um, one of the downsides to that was whenever we'd work out, we'd have workouts the, like the day before a game. And naturally you couldn't really go too hard because if you did, you're gonna be sore the next day to affect how you play. But me, now playing intramurals just for fun. I can go as hard as I want, day before, day of, day after, like whatever, bro, because <laughs> I don't care, I'm still gonna ball out. So, gonna be hitting a heavy push day today. I'm trying to build up to a 315 one rep max on bench before the end of the year. So I'm gonna be doing like heavy three by three today. And so, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get up to that 315 max or not. So hopefully I can. But yeah, stay tuned, it's gonna be a push day, so it's gonna be chest, shoulders, and triceps. We're gonna take you through the workout and on my past video, I had asked for people to give some advice on how I can make them better. And a lot of people wanted it to be more informational. I didn't think you guys wanted to hear like a whole lot of me just talking, but I think I was wrong because a lot of people were saying like they want to learn more about how to lift, like what lifts to do um, and stuff like that. Just learn a little, little bit more about weight training in general. So I definitely have a lot of experience um, and information that I can pass on to you guys. So. So I'm trying to do that more in this video, talk a little bit more, make it more of like a informational workout. And then at the end, got the intramural basketball championship, so stay tuned for that. It's probably gonna be a close game to play a really tough team. You can get to see how I hoop because I'm really a hooper first and a, whatever you wanna call it, weight trainer, bodybuilder, whatever you wanna call it, second. So the first little tip I'd like to give, because I personally didn't know this when I got into lifting, is that you don't have to start with a compound movement to start your workout. I always thought like if you're hitting back, start with deadlifts um, or like rows or like heavy barbell rows. If you're in chest, start with bench. If you're in legs, start with squat. You do not have to do that. And it's almost more effective not to do that because a technique that I've been like practicing lately, it's called pre-exhaustion. So basically you pre-exhaust the muscle group that you're targeting for that day before you do your compound movement. And you pre-exhaust it by starting with the isolation movement. So instead of starting out with barbell bench right away, which is like what I'd like to do, I'm gonna like have some patience with it and like train properly. So I'm gonna start with probably a cable fly to isolate the pecs. Um, probably gonna do a mid cable fly to hit the full pec instead of upper or lower because I'm starting with barbell bench, flat bench. <clears throat> so you start with an isolation movement and do like two to three sets of 15 of a light weight. Not, you don't wanna destroy the muscle group before you get into it, but you just want to get the blood flow in there and like low-key get like a pump before you get into the actual workout. So yeah, I'm gonna start with pec flies. And oh yeah, I also wanted to mention that doing pre-exhaustion, your compound movement lifts are gonna suffer a bit in weight. So you're not gonna be able to do as much weight as you could if you just started with that um, compound movement. So you're gonna have to go a little bit lighter because your muscles are already gonna be slightly fatigued getting into that lift. So that's the one downside to it, but you just gotta humble yourself, drop the weight a little bit, and trust me, you're gonna grow crazily in the first couple weeks of you doing this.
bro on everything I care about. I dropped my phone before the set and look how this boy landed. <laughs> bro, how does that even happen? Hey, we live in a simulation, bro. Just another thing. This is another thing I did not know. My muscle connection is huge, and I never heard that till like this year. I have no clue what it was. Basically, it's how well your mind is connected to your muscles when you're working out. So it's like how well when you're doing like a dumbbell incline press, how well are you feeling it in your chest where it's supposed to be hitting, over feeling it in your like front delt. But it's just gonna, you're gonna have a much better pump. More, your mind is connected to your muscles. So I never knew that and I've been working on that a lot. So that's something to work on if you didn't know it. Drop the weight a little bit. Get more controlled with your movements and build strong mind muscle connection. You'll feel way better pump. So that's it for the lift. I'm gonna go home, eat some food, some protein shake, do some homework probably, and then get ready to go for 40 tonight. Oh, my God. 